Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Now this is a somewhat different video than normal, because this is no teardown and no kit building, but something I always considered as a hoax, and that is the printing dots your printer prints so that the print can be identified. Let's see. Now, like I said, I've, I've always considered this as a hoax. And people told me that your printer, your color printer, prints tiny dots on the paper so that the government or somebody else can identify which printer printed it and at what time it printed it. And I thought, well, <laughs> I cannot see them with the naked eye, so this must be a hoax. And uh, I've, I've got pretty good eyes. My, my right eye is... is at 150% I've been told, and my left eye nearly 200%. Uh, the, the doctors told me uh, after eye surgery, after getting a, a laser treatment. Uh, so, yeah, and I've always uh, felt that I have a particularly good sight. But now, I've looked at the paper very closely and I cannot see them. So I thought, well, this is just some, some, some hoax people like to, to tell. Uh, yeah, you know. So... I took this printout, and as you can imagine, these are labels for the beer I brew, and this particular beer, I call it a Seikert, and a Seikert is, uh, was a blonde ale, and I say it was because they're gone now, uh, and it was a very nice blonde beer. Um, so yeah, I've got one sheet of paper left with eight labels, and I thought, well, and I've printed this out on a, a rather large HP, new HP printer. Um, so I thought, well, why not look at that? And I look, looked with my eyes, like I said, and I took even took my phone and took a close-up photo. I could see nothing. So I took this USB microscope I had laying around, and I was looking at the paper, this black light uh, uh, not using at the moment, and just, w just with the normal white LEDs inside. And I actually, I saw the yellow dots, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to switch to the micro microscope camera right now. There we go. Now, as you can see, on the left side is the green label, and when I go all the way to the right side, there is the purple label uh, you just saw. So, oh, and there's a dust particle. Oh, there's even two dust particles. But look at this. Um, there's a tiny black dot uh, just out of the top center of, uh, of the camera and it is just on the lens I guess or on the camera or that pixel or something. Uh, so I'll use that as a crosshair. Um, just, just below that tiny black thing you can see two yellow dots. And when we move a little bit to the top right there's another two yellow dots. And there, there's another two yellow dots. And I know 100% sure that the yellow dots, and there we go, are not in the print because I designed this label myself and it is uh, just a clear uh, um, file. I made it with the GIMP, uh, the uh, GNU graphic uh, image manipulation program, if I say it correctly. Uh, so I'm 100% sure that this is 100% white. But if you still cannot see them, uh, because I can understand that, because it is very, very soft tone yellow, it is hard to see. So I'll turn off the light of the, um, the, the microscope itself. And now you can see, because of the black light I have laying around, that they appear now as dark blue uh, dots over here, and over here, and over here. And I can move... There we are, two very clear blue dots. And this on the left side now is, is the, the green one, which appears black. Um, and there's there's some more, I guess. And here is, is a group of three. One, two, three. And, and as I hold this here and I turn on the white LEDs on the... Um, there we go. Of the camera there you can see it now that they're all yellow so yeah the code is there absolutely now i'm going to change uh, to a another printout i've made this with my own color laser yet um, and as you'll see in a moment when i switch back to my 
normal camera, you will see that uh, my own printer had its best time. The, the um, cyan cartridge died out, or the drum, I don't know, and the, the printout is a mess. Um, but it is a black and white print, but uh, the yellow dots are there. I'll have to sh uh, focus the camera, I guess. There we are. And these are not groups of two, but here we have a group of four yellow dots, as you can see. And if you cannot, I'll switch to the black light or the uh, UV A light. And oh, there you see. Now they. Ooh, there we go. It was was a moment very very clear, but now you can see four blue dots. And uh, as I move the microscope up, you'll see more dark blue dots. So this black and white print also has these uh, these strange yellow dots. So this story is not a hoax. It is actually true. So and, and I just had to see it for myself to believe it. Um, and the uh, before you get nausea, nauseous, I'll switch back to the normal camera. There we go. Now you can see the printout I just meant. Uh, this is just, I'll turn off the black light one moment. Oh. <clears throat> As you can see, this is just a normal black and white printout, but the uh, cyan toner or the drum or the, the, the diffuser, I don't know uh, exactly, uh, is, is making these large cyan stripings. Uh, so this printer now is almost useless. I will try a new toner, but I guess it is just the printer and I, I was around this area with the, with the microscope so the yellow dots are there so actually the printer is using the yellow cartridge without my knowledge uh, without my approval so I, I find that very very strange uh, but it is uh, it's designed like this this is an HP um, uh, 2600N printer network printer and this is a L HP 755 or 775M printer, if I'm not mistaken, rather large unit. This is just a consumer unit, color oh, both color laser yet. I don't know if the color ink yet printers do the same, but uh, at least the laser yet do that. Um, and uh, I, I will show you image right now. I uh, don't know... Um, yeah, I'll have to cut the video because now I have to mix an image with audio. So one moment. Now this image is um, located at the website of the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And this is, they explain how this code works. Uh, probably for most of the printers. I'm not sure if this is a code which all the printers or all the brands use. But at least they've found out that this is something how the how the codes work this is binary and this is just the row so um and this is probably the idea this is parity row and a separator and this is the printer serial and here is the time and here's the date so this is code one and four which makes five so uh the five i'm i've, I've not not decoded this this 2165 2165 2165 so 2005 so this is the date um 12 and then there's a 50 over here yeah so so this this is how they think the code works and uh yeah i'm actually actually amazed that that printers do this i'm not sure if governments uh make the print printer manufacturers do this or that they do it because they want to do it but yeah of course uh, even <laughs> if we consider the american dollar which is a very easy to re reproduce banknote i understand that they do it european money is is way harder to copy and to to recreate than the american dollar so i understand that it is there but i think it is strange that that even the europe printer european printers do this it is and and like I said, I always believed that this was a hoax, but it is actually true. So pe when people tell you that printers do this, uh, they just do it in plain sight, just on the top of the paper. Some people told me that printers do it on the on the backside, but of course that is not possible because there is no fuser on the backside, there is no toner on the backside. So it had to be on the top. That that is for sure. And now, as we just saw, it is on the on the top of the paper, just in plain sight, but very very hard to see. 
So yeah, I, I hope uh, that you learned something. Uh, if not, uh, <laughs> then I'm sorry. But uh, it, it was just very fun to, to, to discover that it is actually true. So thanks for watching.